is the board. I balance like that. Someone from the audience throws me two flaming torches. And to make this interesting, to give something interesting to talk about, I believe finale should be interesting, two torches and one bottle of Don Perignon champagne. This is a vintage 2000 champagne. It's $250 at the LCBO. I juggle this because I want people to realize that buskers are not beggars. We're professional beggars. <laughs> we are professional. Who wants to throw me the torches and the champagne? It cannot be a child. It's fire and alcohol. This guy here in the black shirt. Sir, come on up, give him a round of applause. Oh yeah. What is your name, sir? James? Welcome, James. What do you do for a living, buddy? You're a plumber. Ooh, employed and wealthy. Plumbers are great. Now, James, uh, it's very simple what you're going to do here. You're going to stand just behind the Scotiabank sign here, just like that, and throw me the props. Now, James, I've been practicing something new. I am from Toronto, and I've been working on a new trick. And you have to get a photo of this because uh, you haven't had a photo of this yet. I've never done this at the Toronto Busker Festival, except for the past couple of days. Instead of balancing on one skateboard, I knew I was going to be on Canada's Got Talent. I just had a feeling they were going to call me. So I'm going to balance on two skateboards stacked with cups. Now these cups are just cups. I'm using gravity and my weight and a bit of skateboard grip tape. Now James, do you mind coming here for a second and hold this like that? Now I must admit everyone, doing this trick makes me nervous. Normally, I do this trick practicing it on grass. I can't do that here today. I ran out. <laughs> That's a joke, folks, okay? I'm joking. I never run out. This is Toronto. <laughs> Be honest. All right, James, here we go. I'm going to climb up on there. And here we go. Wow, you smell nice. All right, thanks, James. You can go by the things. I expected a plumber to smell differently. You smell very good, James. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Here we go. Now the second hardest part about this trick is actually getting on the thing because if the cup slip, my crotch hits the big tube. <laughs> yeah. I, I know you're laughing now, but my brother did this trick and now he's my sister. <laughs> She's happy there. Alright, here we go. In three, two. Alright, thank you. Oh, you want to focus? Wow, that's not dangerous at all. <laughs> yes, okay. James, hey, stay there while James throws the torches and champagne. What the hell? Right, let's see what happens to that beer. James, grab torch number one, please. Oh, that's number two. <laughs> ah, they're the same. He died. He had a moment. He was like, I know it's the same. Shake it off a little bit because there's a bit of fuel on there. That's fine. Hold it up like that. Now you're not whipping it at me, James. Toss it into my hand. You have to take a step forward. That's fine. But just toss it into this hand here if you can. Just like that. Into this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Okay, on the count of three. <laughs> His fault. I picked him. <laughs> no, I'm joking, James. I set you up. All I have to do is toss it like that because there's people behind me. And if, if it's on fire, it's going to be dangerous. Uh, audience, do you think you can do it on fire? Yeah. James, do you think you can do it on fire? No. Sure, why not? Look at that, children. Peer pressure works. <laughs> All right, here we go. James, we'll. I'm going to light this up. Two rules before we light it up. Rule one: Please don't throw it here. Rule two, not here. <laughs> Rather catch it like that. All right, let's light this up. In order to encourage James, when I say one, you say one. When I say two, you say two. When I say three, you say three. Sound good? Yeah! Yeah! All right, let's light the torch, James Aruni. Come up to me, yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah. Yeah, just like into my hand, yeah, perfect, yeah, exactly. There we go, you can stand on the Scotiabank thing. 
<laughs> no, no, not spinning, not spinning. No, I almost fell last time. Is there anything running down my leg? I hope it's yellow. Here we go. One. One. Okay, come on. Not just the children and drunk people. Everybody. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Oh. James. That's okay, buddy. Come over here. Come over here. I think you need something. Give me a hug. You're gonna be. Grab the champagne, James, and hand it to me. <laughs> A big round of applause for James the Plumber! Thank you, James. You are very good. Now, audience, the real reason I'm here today, it's time for me to talk to you about exciting Avon products. <laughs> but in all seriousness, folks, I have a busker at the end of the show. I pass my hat and collect money. If you like the show, I'd like some money. If you didn't like the show and still like some money, why should we both be disappointed? <laughs> how much to give is up to you. You tell me how much the show is worth, all right? If you're uh, a tourist, I'll just say that the $5 and $10 bill are the big pink one and the big brown one. <laughs> I don't think five or 10 bucks is too much to ask for a good show where you juggle champagne, put a balloon through your nose, jump through a flaming star. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. If you cannot afford a five or ten, toonies and loonies are great. If all you have is quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies, keep it, and I hope things get better for you. <laughs> and say no if you want, but we all know the show's worth more than quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Of course. All right, here we go. All the money I make goes to charity. She's this great girl that works at the brass rail. <laughs> here we go. Get your cameras ready, folks. In three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Get your freaking photo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! One torch is out! Two torches are out! I am... Oh yeah! jump off this ramp to a flaming star! Yeah. Then after that I pass my hat for money! Oh, yeah! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I don't make enough money from this show, I will have to go back to my other job, selling drugs to kids in Dundas Square. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need a path. I know there's a lot of people here, but I, I, I don't have enough speed to get off the ramp and jump through this here. Uh, I will be coming very fast. I need a path from like directly right there where this ramp is. Imagine a straight line going through. I have to come from the Hot House Cafe. You can scoop in around here if you like. There's a lot of room in here. I, I apologize. It's the only way I can get through this thing. If I come rushing towards you faster and faster on fire, run. <laughs> fast. After I jump through this, I extinguish the torches and put the away. Children, don't come up without any money, with, any, with any money until this is safely put away. Uh, one thing I have for you, uh, for the people that watch the show, it's not much, but on my stage here, I have Fire Guy matches. I'll leave some Fire Guy matches here. I have two boxes of them. If you need more, you can come see me. I have about 5,000 of these things. But this is my business card. It has my email, uh, my website, and all that type of stuff. I do birthday parties, weddings, divorce parties, whatever. <laughs> A divorce party for that guy. Yesterday you got your divorce? Big round of applause. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You're single again. <laughs> Welcome into the fold. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, and lastly, I do have uh, something special here, folks. Um, in this bag, I have Fire Guy DVDs. Now, these aren't just me. Have anybody seen Space Cowboy at all? Me, Space Cowboy, Alakazam. Anybody remember him from last year, Alakazam? And uh, the USA Breakdancers. Some of the best acts in busking came together and made a DVD. For the first time ever, it's called All-Star Buskers. It's $20. Every $20 donation gets a DVD. I have 100 of these left. 
they won't be here on Sunday. So if you want one, please come up and get them. Thank you. I will be coming here. I'm going to need all the room to skateboard through. Uh, hey, ma'am, you got the, the, the... I think she's breastfeeding. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I just I need that space. Excellent, because I have to come from the sidewalk. All right, folks, if you want to leave without paying, please leave now. So we have a deal. That's good. Oh, yeah. Last trick in the show. Oh. Let's light these up. Oh, yeah. How many people think I can do this? How many people don't think I can do this? How many people want to see me smash into it and burn myself? You people are sick. But I like it. I'm going to have to move this back. I'm just a bit nervous that these people are a bit too close. All right. You want to see? I just heard someone say, I want to see him burn. What a teenager. I love teenagers. They're so stupid. <laughs> All right, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, all good shows should have a good finale. Oh, yeah. Get your cameras ready. You know what we should do here? It just seems like the right time to do one of those nice performer and claps. Come on. Clap. Come on, everyone. Louder. Everybody, get your cameras ready, because here I come, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh And you know what? Come on up with your donation. Fold it up, put it in the hat, and take a number out. And I will have a prize for the winner. Do you know what the grand prize is? One lucky family gets to take me home tonight. <laughs> but in all seriousness, folks, what you guys just watched here this evening, or this afternoon, sorry, well, that's my life. But I truly hope that it was your pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful afternoon. But remember, in a busking show, the exit is this way, towards the performer. Come on up, get a DVD, tell me what you think the show is worth. Thank you so much. I stand here proudly accepting.